If you live in Peach County this fall, you'll be able to vote on a new tax aimed at improving transportation and roads. Brianna Richardson talked to the County Commission Chairman about how that money would help the area. The t spots would tack on a 1% sales and use tax in Peach County. Peach County Commissioner's Chairman Martin Mosley says it will raise around $27 million over five years. Mostly um, re resurfacing projects, maybe a couple of connector roads that we're going to pave that we feel are vital here in Peach County, but mostly will be uh, just upkeep of roads. All Peach County voters will get to have their say, including those in Byron, Fort Valley, Perry, and part of Warner Robins. Loris Bryan has lived in Fort Valley for three years. He's on the road daily. Yes, yeah, so I do believe that the roads could be improved, uh, especially on this side of town. That'll be good. We got a great list of roads that'll kind of cover the entire county. It's just going to make uh, the quality of life better. We think that'll just improve our roads, make them uh, last longer, be easier to travel. Mosley says the funding would help fix up about 50 county roads. Plus, each city has a list of areas that could use some work. Bryant tells me he'll vote for the tax. In order to improve the roads and transportation around the county, I believe that people should vote yes on the T-SPLOS fund. If voters approve, the tax would run for the next five years. In Peach County, Brianna Richardson, 13W, MAZ News. And the folks in Peach County will vote on that T-SPLOS in the November 2nd election.